also on the minds of investors. Well, today, one of uh, Bloomberg's own spoke to one of the largest investors, and that's the co-head of acquisitions at Blackstone. Shanali Basak spoke to uh, him, Martin Brand, about just what the company is looking for by way of diversifying its assets post-pandemic. Have a listen. What's important is that you have great companies to begin with. Because if you do have a great company, you can hold it through markets that go up, markets go down. And SPACs undoubtedly have raised a lot of money. And SPACs can be great exit uh, partners for us, such as the uh, PaySafe uh, merger that we did with Bill Foley. Um, and so I, I would emphasize again, we're patient investors in the companies we invest in. And so if, for example, the, uh, the market closes, um, then, then we'll just hold the companies for longer and continue to stay invested in them and ultimately uh, hope uh, or will find an opportunity to exit them. There's been a lot of fascination about Blackstone kind of moving from the traditional buyout firm to a growth investor. A lot of these investments came out of traditional buyout funds, right? What does this speak to kind of the, the private equity 2.0, right? What does this mean about kind of the next wave of private equity investing? Yeah, I, I would say compared to the environment that I grew up in 20 years ago, uh, private equity firms have to invest more in their capabilities. So I, first of all, we have made a tremendous investment in our operating group. So we have folks like Jennifer Morgan, who uh, was the co-CEO of SAP, join us full time. Um, we have a great data science team. And then we have real um, investment in the IP behind the themes we invest in. So there is a lot of benefit from the cross-group collaboration that we can have at Blackstone, whether it's with our real estate group or in the case of Bumble, it was a joint investment between the private equity main fund and the growth fund and some other funds. Um, and then obviously we, we bring these capabilities to the companies and that allows us to grow the companies at a faster rate. And in this environment, when multiples are elevated and leverage adds less to the returns, 